guys, it's your girl Sydney. I just wanted to film a quick intro for Instagram controls my life. I am so excited to do that. You guys know Instagram literally controls my life sometimes. I will spend that extra 20 minutes taking a photo outside in the blazing heat in Arizona just because Instagram controls my life. So I figured it would be fun to have you guys answer polls, control my life for the day, and just see where it goes because you guys know me. I don't normally do videos like this, but I wanted to, it seemed fun. So, Instagram gets to control my life today. And if you guys aren't following me on Instagram, make sure to do that. Follow me, be part of my life. Maybe I'll do this again in the future and a better job because this was my first one. But with that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. We're gonna roll the clips now. Good morning guys, so today I'm doing Instagram Controls My Life. I just wanna let you guys know that I am super excited. I've never done anything like this, and I hope that you guys enjoy. For today, we're starting off the day. It is currently nine o'clock because I wanted to kill some time. I threw some polls up this morning, and then I wanted some accurate things to come up. So, first, I have a couple polls that I'm gonna cover. I'm gonna set you guys down right here. So, I put this outfit on thinking everyone was gonna want this outfit, right? No one voted for this outfit. So so I said, what should I do to start my day? 84% of you said gym, 16 said work, so I'm gonna go to the gym. And then the outfit that I put on right here, all of you guys, I thought were gonna vote for this one because I like this one. That got 40%. Outfit number two, which I'm gonna throw on in a jiffy, got 60%. Okay, so outfit one that you guys did not really like. Outfit number two that you guys chose, here it is. So now I'm gonna change into my outfit, head to the gym because of you guys, and I'm gonna throw up another poll saying which one I should do, legs or arms. All right, so the first exercise that I'm doing is lunging, but here's the little thing that you have to realize is I do pulsating lunges, which are basically when you pulse twice before you come back up, that engages your glutes a lot more. And then on the way back, I just do like, you know, little kickbacks to stretch out my hamstrings. So I do that five times. So five sets actually for each exercise, but I only show you a couple so you guys can see what I'm doing. Then I do plate hip thrusts and then I do barbell th hip thrusts. And these are just to engage your glutes. Make sure that you're really squeezing them when you're coming up, holding it at the top for a second, and continuing with that. These ones are gonna make your ass hurt really bad though. I'm gonna be really honest with you guys. I usually do heavier weight also, but because I just got into a new gym, and also you guys can see the guy in the back, like that is very improper form, his bench. So just letting you guys know, please don't do that. But, <laughs> and then the next one is the glute kickbacks, and these are on the machine. Um, this is a new machine that I found at my new gym. Not sure how I feel about it, but you know, that's an, that's a nice angle right there. So I figured I would include it because the booty is popping and my legs don't look horrible. But yeah, I think after that I do box squats, just like seated box squats. This is gonna engage your quads, your hamstrings, and your gluteus maximus and yeah, and then I finished off with Stairmaster, and I always say there's stairs to somewhere, so if you're wanting something bad enough, just remember that you guys deserve it. And I was literally drenched. By the end of stairs, I was sweating out of my arm. Like, my arm pores were sweating, you guys, and it was awesome. Great workout. Thanks for making me do legs today, and um, let's keep going with the video. Okay guys, so I just finished my workout. Literally dead, so drenched. Now I'm going, and you guys also voted on the poll for me to do legs, so I did legs. And then I did Stairmaster, which I always do with legs. So, it was really fun, it was really good. Kinda feel dead, I went to the gym last night too. So now I'm gonna post the next poll for you guys to vote on, and you guys are gonna be, <laughs> say hi. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> so I posted a poll earlier about what to eat because I haven't eaten yet because I usually like if I eat and then like 30 minutes later I go to the gym it just doesn't work out so you guys voted for me to have a smoothie so I'm gonna have a smoothie when I get back home I really don't have a lot of protein so we're gonna see how I'm gonna make it I don't even know if I have a banana so 
All right, guys, so I'm back home. I am going to make a smoothie because I did a poll and asked, should I make oatmeal or a smoothie? And everyone was like, make a smoothie, bitch. So I'm gonna make a smoothie. I don't know what I have for it, though. I don't even think I have a banana. Nope, I have no banana. So we're just gonna roll with it. We're just gonna play some fun games called Smoothie Time. So we got our cup. And normally I'm gonna tell you guys this right now. I don't really drink Herbalife, but I'm trying to use it up. So I'm gonna use their protein and this, which makes it taste like an orange creamsicle. So first we're gonna put some ice up in here. Cause I literally have nothing else. I'm just doing ice water and then two scoops of this protein and then two scoops of the protein flavoring that has like more nutrients in it. That's what Herbalife claims. Maybe a little more protein, cause you know, can never have enough. And then I'm gonna use this orange one. All right, now I'm just gonna put this magical top on it, throw it on the blender, and then drink it. Okay, got my smoothie, which means now I'm going to ask you guys if I should shower and if I should get ready and like look cute or bum it. So let's see. Look cute or bum it. Honestly, I really hope that you guys put look cute and we're gonna give it 10 minutes. Either way, I'm gonna be showering, but it's gonna decide whether I like do the whole nine yards of like oiling my hair and stuff, so. Okay guys, so I got ready. Do you guys see what I'm wearing? Um, I'm gonna actually close this door so I can show you a little bit more because I feel like I never show you guys when I do makeup but I bought a new lip lip thing that I didn't realize was matte but I kind of like it like okay anyways okay also look at how cute my bitch Jess looks like hold on I wanted to focus she is so cute you guys anyways that's like one of my best friends so like I wish that it would stay like this but my boobs are too big so it just like slides up for some it's, it's like stupid it slides up and everything but I'm wearing this and then a pair of shorts from Old Navy these ones are literally amazing if you don't wear shorts normally buy a pair of those and you start wearing them because yeah I don't know what I'm saying anyways and then I did my makeup because you guys wanted me to and I feel like I look cute like I'm literally only wearing eyebrows eyes and lips and that's all I wear and then I put some of this on my face to moisturize it if you guys are wondering in my whole body so, yeah, I'm gonna be going on like a kind of Tinder date. Should I really tell you guys this? I don't know. I'm going on like a semi Tinder date right now, but we'll see how it goes. If I have to run and leave, I'll just like use you guys as my, my getaway. But yeah, so I'm gonna be going to that coffee shop pretty soon. I'm probably gonna go a little early because I just, I don't like being the last person, so I'm gonna park go in there start doing my work and like call it good and then wait for him and I'm gonna post a poll when I get there what I want to drink actually you know what I'm gonna ask now if I should drink what should I drink I don't know what I want because normally I just drink tea but I don't like tea at the coffee shop that we're going to so let's see what do I want to have them? is it called a chai latte chai latte that's I mean Ice chai, I'm gonna put that. They're probably gonna vote for tea, honestly. So, which drink should I order? Should, I spell should wrong, should I order? Iced chai latte? or tea well we'll find out and then i'll just check it once i get there this will be awesome i have this going on and then later today i don't know what i'm doing in between if this goes really bad i'll only be there for like a little bit it's one o'clock right now i showered i went to the gym i feel very unproductive right now but you know instagram controls my life um you guys told me not to work so i went to the gym instead and now i'm gonna take my laptop with me do some work while i'm waiting on him to come and then like talk and then maybe run away if it's horrible and 
yeah i'm kind of hoping it's not horrible because like low-key i'm gonna start doing a tinder date series and i really want to start doing it but if this tinder date goes bad this is like the second one i've ever been on um since being you know not having a relationship anymore and so I literally just go out to coffee, talk, and then if it doesn't click, which normally, you know, it doesn't, then on to the next one. So, like, this Tinder series might be really good. It might be really bad, too. But but we're going to go. We're going to go to the coffee shop. We're going to start. I need to get there and start doing work anyways, so. Okay, guys. So, I got here earlier than the guy, obviously, because I'm like that. I got here nine minutes earlier. Let's see how, like, late he really is. But... I got here and then the other thing too is I ordered you guys voted for iced chai so <laughs> your girl ordered that I was really honestly hoping you guys would because for me I like their tea but this place doesn't have the best tea but you guys you guys did me a solid so yeah got my drink Now I'm here with Emma and we're gonna have some chit chat and you guys voted for Flower Child against Mad Greens, thank God, because like honestly Mad Greens is like not the same level of quality and like look at how good this looks. This looks heavenly. So and then we brought Mia, because you know, gotta take her to Castles and Coasters, shouldn't leave her there. That's gonna be the next Tinder poll or the next Instagram poll. I'm literally gonna ask if you guys think I should leave her there and let her sleep there at night or if I should pick her up. But anyways, Don't yeah. Leave me there. <laughs> but yeah, I'll talk to you guys after. Guys, a little bit of an update. I haven't done a poll in a while because I'm pretty sure I lost my little sister and her friend. Because one of them has a phone, right? And I was like calling them and texting them, no text back. So I called and I was like, gonna pick you guys up in like 15 minutes. It's been five minutes since then, no text. And I texted them like an hour ago. And it goes to text message. And I'm pretty sure this little girl has an iPhone. I think I lost them at Castles and Coasters. <laughs> and she spit all over me because she was laughing so hard. Because I'm like the worst. I like act like I'm a good sister, but like in all honesty, I just lose people. I lose them. You want a piece of gum? Yeah. Um, which is also called Castles and Coasters, which is like Sketchyville, you know? Like you, you really shouldn't leave kids there alone, honestly. I don't know what my mom was thinking, but the kids didn't want me to go in. So I was like, I'm just gonna hang out right around here. Like I'm literally a five minute drive from them. So I could just chill for an hour and a half, but their phone is dead. We're probably gonna have to sneak into Getro Center and get the kids. Or she's gonna call her friend that works there. And then we're just gonna have to do an alcohol at the, the place to get them. I don't know. I fucked up really bad just now. I told my mom, my mom's like, go pick them up at nine. And I was like, okay. So I texted them. No reply, which is bad. Guess what time it is? It's 8.51. Yeah. <laughs> These kids are gonna get a beating, just kidding. No, they're gonna get a hug and a kiss because it's probably my fault. But I'm gonna put my lip gloss on and get to work. So I found my little sister. Um, then we took her to her and her friend to Starbucks, right? Because they wanted to get Starbucks. And I didn't want to be mean because I was just waiting there. They wanted me to get them Starbucks. So I was like, you guys can go in and get it yourself, right? I was in the car. And this guy, and this is why the polling kind of like ended for a while because. This guy came up to my car and asked if he could suck my vagina for money because we were literally in a sketchy area and it was so awkward because like I was like, oh my God, if the girls come back and this guy's out here. So I pulled out, he like eventually left and the girls were taking their sweet time and I was like, thank God, because that guy would have been out there. I just had a really good night and I was super happy and I'm Snapchatting. Um, it was just a good night. Weird things happen. I thought I lost my sister, found her. They answered their phone. And then that weird guy, and I don't know. I'm just having a good night though. I was with my friend Zethi, and it was just fun. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. I had so much fun today. I saw Emma, we reconnected and everything. I saw Zethi. It was just fun to hang out with your friends. So I'm gonna end the vlog here.